Hello, I'm Jonathan Orkin with Napa Pet Lens Legate, and I'm excited to talk to you today about the different causes of dizziness. So the title of this video is, Why Am I Still Dizzy? And this is a horrible affliction that affects thousands and millions of people around the world. Okay, as a matter of fact, approximately right about 27% of adults experience moderate to intense dizziness in their life, and they do seek medical care for it. Now, if you've seeked care for your dizziness before, you've qualified professional. Say you went to a chiropractor or your physical therapist, they almost certainly evaluated the way your neck was working because your neck can absolutely cause dizziness. Your eye doctor probably looked at the way that your eyes are working because eyes can cause what's called a visual dizziness. Your inner ear, which comes from the eye, ear, nose, and throat doctor, he probably checked that how the ear function is working because that can cause dizziness. But then your brain can also cause dizziness, and another one can be the nerve can cause dizziness. Now, the most common cause of dizziness in the world is something called BPPV. And in BPPV, what happens is inside of our inner ear, which I have beautifully drawn here, by the way, this is our inner ear, and it's made out of these sections called semicircular canals. And there's three of them, as you can see. Now, inside our inner ear, we have fluid. And inside that, and the way that fluid works is that when we turn our head, it tells us which direction we're moving. So if I turn my head to the right, this really thick fluid is moving through my inner ear and it's hitting these tiny cells that tell me that I'm moving to the right. Now what happens in BPPV is that these little things that are drawn here, they're these little stones and they get loose. So they're just free floating in this fluid and they're not supposed to be there. But now what happens is I turn my head to the right, the fluid moves, and then it stops moving, so I know that I'm no longer moving, but these little rocks continue to move. So it makes me feel like I'm still moving even when I'm not moving. Now these are very common in, di in dizziness disorders, and they're actually generally very easy to treat. The problem is this, many times, approximately 10 to 20% of the times, even after we fix the way that these stones are in your inner ear, you're still dizzy. Why is that? Well, I'm gonna explain that right now. So, your inner ear sends signals or electricity via a nerve into what's called your brainstem, all right? Now, what your brainstem has to do is it has to say, okay, this is all the information I'm getting from my inner ear. Does that make sense? And then it sends the information to all other sorts of places in your brain, and then you interpret that as you will, and you feel normal. Or, in the case of BPPV, you feel abnormal, dizzy. What will happen is when we have a chronic case of BPPV, or sometimes not so chronic cases, this nerve is sending a lot more information into the brainstem than the nerve on the other side is. So that this side of your brainstem interprets that you're moving so much more and it gets used to it. And this is what we call a centrally maintained vestibulopathy. So now at this point, even after we fix the BPBV in this ear, our brainstem is still interpreting that we have too much information coming from the ear. So it still makes you feel dizzy even though there's no reason for you to be dizzy. And this is horrible because it can really make us feel as though our own brains are betraying us. So when we have to fix this, it becomes a little bit more specialized and there's not quite as many qualified practitioners who can treat it. Now what you have to do is you have to do very specific brain therapy in order to get the brain stem set back to its original state so that it makes you feel like you're moving normally instead of in a dizzy state. This is responsible for the vast majority of those of you who have had your BPBV fixed before, but you're still dizzy. It's very, very treatable, but it is a little bit more specialized and not nearly as many practitioners are gonna be able to treat it. So you have to be able to find a practitioner who works with a centrally maintained vestibulopathy. I know that's a mouthful, but you can manage it. And once you do, uh, and if you are having trouble finding anyone, we at Napa Pet Lounge Legate are super happy to help you or to help you find someone who can help you. So feel free to message us and ask us with any questions about what's going on with you.
And that's it for today. This is what's going on when you're still dizzy, even after the dizziness has been fixed. Thank you for your attention, and we're looking forward to talking to you again.